I mean, obviously, you buy the first one. You gotta buy the second one. It's mm -hmm. like, so when you read the first one, you don't even need to buy the second one. It's book math. Book math right there. Book but. math. Besties, it's Carol. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just gonna be a cute little romance-specific book shopping vlog. It's two separate days, two separate trips, and I'm just gonna put both of them in there. I wanted to do like a cute little romance-specific one because obviously this is going out on Valentine's Day. I love love. We all love love. That would be like a fun little concept to do only romance books, which was very hard. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to follow all my socials down below along with my Goodreads, my book Amazon wish list. Things will like there will be linked down there if you want to check it out. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos by me. And let's just get into the cute little bookstore vlog. Everybody. Back oh my god, the first accent. Back of the hall. This is like kind of a little bit of a collective hall. She just threw some books in there because I think you got what, like two at the barns? One or two, two or three, something like that. Two and then one that you gave me. Yes, and then one I gave her. So I bought nothing because I don't know, I'm just not. I think I have all the romance books I want. For my pink. This spells love by Kate Robb. Um, you saw what Sarah Crowley? No, Haley Fam? One, one of them. them. When the book they, besties. They did, a, they did a collab. Yeah, with when the book besties, um, Haley, Des, and Sarah did their little video where they like bought books for each other. She saw this one and liked it. I think it was Haley got it. Pretty sure Sarah got it for Haley. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. I think it's kind of like a magical type romance. You know, like um the seven year slip and the dead romantics. Like it's still romance, but it's not like fantasy. It's kind of like more magical stuff like that. Okay, it seems like she gets angry about her ex, makes this spell, and he doesn't remember that they dated, so stuff like that. But yes, this cover is really cute. Love the vibes. This was from Target, our favorite place. Target, don't go for us. Next up is old, I think. I think that's been sitting on your thing down there for like months, girlfriend. Yeah, I think it's some kind of Christmas romance. I love the ice skates though. Is this hockey? Brother's best friend. Ooh, I love Brother's best friend. Gets caught in the blizzard. It is hockey. Winning college at hockey and NHL championships. I'm sure she got it because it was hockey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly mm -hmm. what I would buy. But yes, a little magic. Both bought this book. 
It's called Mr. Hockey by Laya Riley. I think that's, yeah. Laya yeah. Riley. Lia? Laya? Something like that. This is some kind of like shy, bookworm, quiet woman and cocky hockey player. Playboy, something like that. I think it's part of a series. It says for fans of Icebreaker, which we love Icebreaker. So, mm -hmm. of course, we're gonna pick that up and read it. Spicy. Spicy hockey romance. This we got like last week, or well, it's not last week to you guys, but whenever we went last, she got Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. This is the first book in Lauren Asher's new romance series. It takes place where Final Offer took place, the same town. You meet one of these characters in it, but yeah, it's like rivals to lovers um everybody loves the man in this book like a lot and people just like think it's so good which i'm hoping it's good because i did not like final offer it'll be your first lauren asher book i'm very excited her books are just so quick easy and i love her writing style so does that look quick girl no like you don't think it is but her other books are like 500 pages long and i'm just like doo -doo 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 -doo, like i'm flying through them okay. so all right Next two books are by Elle Kennedy. I personally love Elle Kennedy, personally just for her Rocky Ryan's books, but I know she has a bunch of other series that she's coming out with. One of them is this prep series. I don't even remember what it's called. First two of them, Misfit and Rogue. I only remember what this one is about and it has something to do with like swimming. Headmaster's Daughter. Ooh, Ooh Headmaster's Daughter. Second one. I didn't even read the back. Yeah. And I just picked it up. But, like, I don't know. We love Elle Kennedy anyway. And her writing style is easy to get through. So. Might as well. Might as well. But I do like these covers. They're cool. I mean, obviously, you buy the first one. You gotta buy the second one. It's mm -hmm. like, so when you read the first one, you don't even need to buy the second one. It's book math. Book math right there. Book but math. This one she got today. It's called Faking It. Beth Regals by Wattpad. So interesting that Wattpad is now uh, publishing books. I don't even know what this one's about. Free Chapman. Oh my god. Charming, attractive, post-divorce destruction. Amazing. It says pretending. It might be fake dating. It's fake dating until it turns real. Mm. Oh yeah. Until you start getting that How feel. How long can you pretend before it gets real? Oh, I shit. love oh. it. Girl, she just like quoted out that thing. She, she wrote it actually. Oh <gasps> Wait! She wrote the Kissing Booth series. I love the Kissing Booth. Have you watched those movies? I didn't know it was a books. It's so cringy, but it's so good. Jacob Lurie. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Last one was a book that I was going to unhaul, but um, I had her read the back because I know she loves better than movies. She loves a good YA, fluffy, good time romance. So I read this one. This is kind of just like a cute YA quick read. I don't, like, I think it takes place on the same day like i'm confused i think that's what i remember but they're like academic rivals and they somehow fall in love when they get to know each other sorry round of applause round of, round of applause i don't know if there's gonna be more to this video if i get romance books in the next few weeks we're actually filming this like one month early hope you guys enjoyed i know you love the videos with franny every time we just go viral we just go viral. So, yeah. Love y'all. See ya some point later. a few days later i'm just gonna do a little bit of a haul for you guys this was kind of just like a random impulse let's go to the bookstore of course as like one does i actually found books like romance books finally i just got this hoodie it's got a little pink heart on it first one i'll talk about my friend also got i don't know if it just came out or newly published or something but it's a hockey romance but it's called canadian boyfriend by jenny holiday what you know about this book is that girl named Aurora met a hockey player and they ended up like fake dating. I don't know if the actual they were actually like fake dating or she just said she was dating this guy 
that she saw and it was like kind of a thing that like oh that's her boyfriend you know what i mean years later she's teaching a class and then this guy shows up with his daughter i don't know what happens after that but i don't know hockey romance i will read it and this cover is like really freaking adorable the spine is pink like i am matching right now i like we're one of the same this book i've seen going around not as much anymore but it was a couple months ago and it's been on my goodreads tbr like my radar i guess you could say for a couple months and i don't know if it just got like traditionally published or something but i've never seen it ever at a barnes i've heard kind of mixed reviews about this book that's why i think i had it on my radar but then i like low-key forgot about it determined to walk away from her traumatic past 20 year old grace allen feels ready to take the next step in her healing journey into pato into the dating pool he's like a tatted guy and he's taking care of his little sister i think they form a friendship but i think that turns into more something like that cover is just like really really pretty and again i'm matching the pink guys like there's a theme i think that's gonna be all for this video so i might as well just give you all an outro right now but i hope you guys enjoyed if you're like me and you're single on this valentine's day who cares go buy yourself flowers go buy yourself chocolate that's what i'm going to do be sure to follow all my socials down below along my goodreads amazon wish list everything will be linked down there if you want to check it out like comment and subscribe for more videos by me and i'll see you guys next week for another video. Love y'all! Bye!